Well, I'm about to do something crazy, and I never thought that I would utter these words, or I never, I'm actually a little disappointed in myself that I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Um, I'm going to do a fast, or a, a cleanse, um, and I'm going to record my video journal every day um, to log how it's going, to, to uh, hopefully get some funny moments out of it, and to um, just just document the journey. Uh, like I said, I never thought I would say something like this, and I think I'm uh, I'm having mixed feelings about it even now. Um, but it's been suggested to me uh, by a coach that I really rec uh, respect and um, admire, and I think it will be an interesting journey. And I think that I am very anti cleanse and fast for. 99% of the people that come to me and say that they're going to do such a thing because of the reasons that they are going to do them or because of the popular reasons that people do them. I always feel like I hear people say, oh, I lost 15 pounds and whatever by doing this cleanse. And um, that's that's a, the, the silliest way to lose weight, I think, ever um, by, by doing a fast or, or, or extreme... Uh, restriction of anything so I could you know any of those juice juice fasts um, any of that type of stuff I, I just think that that's not really an appropriate way to lose weight and that's obviously if you know me at all that's not why I'm doing this um, I don't I've I'm actually doing it for almost the exact opposite reason I'm not doing it to lose weight and I've never had an issue with weight I've never had an issue with food I've never had to really watch what I eat and so for, for one of the reasons that I'm going to do it is, is to experience that feeling of restriction um, that I ask of clients frequently. Um, I, I often ask people to eliminate certain things in their diets or, or, make, or make what may seem on the exterior um, as simple requests. And, you know, in reality for them, it's really, really, really difficult. And I think this is going to be really, really, really difficult for me. And so I would like to to um, experience some of that, and and just so I can have some 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 empathy as they experience what they're going through, I'll have something. I'll have this experience to touch on. Um, I'm also doing it so I can explore explore a relationship with food that you know I think I have been alive for thirty almost thirty one years now, um, and I've never. I don't think I've gone an entire day without eating. I can almost guarantee that, that I've, uh, unless, you know, extreme sickness or something like that. But I've never intentionally skipped a day of food. I've probably rarely ever skipped a meal. Um, it's just not something that's ever happened. And I think this will be an interesting way to explore that feeling. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I think that really sums up some of the things I'm going to do. And I... I personally like to do some experiments. I think that, you know, with, with the amount of clients that I have and the amount of, the amount of people that we work with at CrossFit Sandpoint, it's, um, I think it's part of my duty to do, do experiments on myself and to try and see, see what's out there and see what benefits there are for certain things. And, and that obviously has some, has a lot of limitations on it, but I think something like this is, is not too, is, is, you know, it's certainly outside of my comfort zone, but we'll see what, what results come of it. So, um, I would like to, during this, and I'm going to do, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. I probably should have said that at the beginning. I'm doing this Nira Natural Cleanse, which is all otherwise known as the Master Cleanse. Um, it's going to be for five days, and it's no food, and it's just drinking this, um, this tea. It's uh, cayenne pepper, sea salt, um, tea bags. And then uh, after five days, it's a slow, gradual, uh, or not real slow, but um, you start to come back on the solid foods for a couple of days. I actually don't honestly know that much about it uh, as far as the whole process goes. So that'll be an interesting thing to find out as well. Um, but I'll do one of these diary or blog things every day. Um, I'm going to try and take as many data points as I can just out of my curiosity and um, and to see what I can glean from that and 
and to kind of see and to, and I'll share that with you guys as well. So I'm going to do um, weight. I'll do calipers. Um, I'll do um, I'll try and do pictures, and I will do just um, I'll do this this journal thing, and I'll try and do a written journal as well. I'll do a written follow up, and um, you guys will get to go on this little journey with me. So if I'm a little bit the way this is supposed to go is Monday supposed to, or so I'm, I'm gonna start Monday uh, the 28th and Monday's supposed to be pretty tough I think Tuesday's supposed to be really tough I think Wednesday it starts to get not as bad it's probably gonna peak and then I think it's supposed to get a little bit easier I think as I drift as I as it becomes normal-ish and then according to people I've spoken with and the accounts that I read the fourth and fifth days fifth days are supposed to be um, really not they're supposed to be really easy um, and they're supposed to be you have a really very um, extremely heightened sense of mental acuity and I'm very much looking forward to that part of it I think the first three days are going to be really hard and then uh, it sounds like the f after the the that initial humps over with and you get through those fourth and fifth days that it's really actually you start to not want to eat food again and that um that it's a bit of a um it's a bit of an exercise to come back to eating food so that'll be an interesting experience for me um but yeah so uh we'll see all right wish me luck